Now I want to talk about um, elbow strikes, and we're going to use it based upon a prior technique we did, which was the, the defensive hand position to a, a face attack, okay, whether a body or face. All right. Uh, I want to talk about two types of elbows, okay? One is just a traditional horizontal elbow. When I'm, just, I'm here, this is coming over the top. Now, for you guys who know how to punch or know how to throw a punch, it's very similar to a, a punch where I'm turning my body, I'm using my whole body, but the elbow is very strong, very powerful. The hand can break sometimes, all right? These, your, your knuckles are very weak, okay? And you think about the, you know, Mike Tyson, who's one of the hardest hitters, toughest boxers there was. In, in a real street fight, he broke his hand, shattered his hand because he hit a guy so hard. So a lot of times you'll see in H2H, and what we do is that we use a lot of the elbows and knees because they're, they're really hard, uh, they're hard to shatter, and they're just devastating, okay? So we're going to think a lot about that. So first is a horizontal elbow, not going to be the target, be the face, uh, the chest, you know, whatever, but typically we're, we're, we're going after the face, okay? And we're hitting with the flat part right here. That's, that's our use, okay? And these are great in close range uh, or follow-up or when someone is like, you know, really getting in our, our grill that we can just throw a nice elbow. Um, so just, just show you guys as a target, it's coming, boom, here, all right? And I'm using my whole arm, turning my hip over, smacking right here. One thing I don't like about um, this type of elbow, if Jim misses, and I, I swear, he moves his head back, boom, I just gave up my whole back. Kitty shots, tackles, whatever, he's gonna go after me. That's one thing I kinda need to be careful of if I don't have control of my point. If I'm in a clinch, we're grappling here, we're fighting here, boom, boom. Those are great, those are, definitely use those, okay? That's an opportunity to use your elbow strikes, okay? But if I'm out here, I just go, Poof. yeah, I got some bottles, you know? I, I, you know, I, I'm better not even throwing it, okay? One other elbow strike, it's kinda like a, like a Muay Thai elbow, or like, you know, uh, it's kinda just a little, you know, there's, we're not trying to, um, make up our own martial art here, okay? Martial arts in all reality, it's not, uh, there's nothing new you're gonna see. I mean, some top fighters might do some new techniques or you might see something pretty cool, but in all reality, there's nothing really that new. So you'll, you'll hear us reference other martial arts or other styles sometimes uh, because they have great things, you know? Uh, Muay Thai is known for their devastating elbows, devastating clinch, uh, devastating knees, and their, their power. So there's a lot we can use uh, from a Muay Thai martial art. Do we need to learn Muay Thai? No. But we can use uh, a lot of the principles, a lot of the weapons, okay, and, and incorporate into our own game, okay? So, if we're in here, um, same type of, you know, instead of coming horizontal, we're gonna come, boom, down a little bit, all right? That's just a really good elbow strike that attacks the whole body, more towards the chest, um, but it also doesn't make me come across. Um, here, I'm not giving up anything. So you see the difference here, okay, to here, all right? So again, my hands are here, boom, I'm coming over. I'm not giving it all away, all right? So this one, this one, all right? A little different, but both very effective. So those are kind of two elbow strikes I wanted to show you guys. And they're great to practice against a heavy bag, okay? Or you got a buddy, he just puts, you know, puts his, up, his hands up, just like if you have no mitts, boom, just pop them in there, all right? Just Work. Uh, you can actually start grabbing his hand. Boom, shove me, shove me in there. You know, just do stuff like that as a way to kind of pass your buddy. If you got focus mitts, also great to work with. Tie pads. Uh, that's it. Or just a, you know, a heavy bag. All right? Thanks, guys.